Hi, this is Granny B and I'm in Fort Smith, Arkansas. And I'm very glad to be back with you today. The last time I was with you, I told you I was gonna be doing uh, some party decorations, food for parties. And so today, one of the first ones that everybody asked for was how to do the baby bassinet deviled eggs. So if you've ever done deviled eggs, you know how easy they can be. So this is just one little twist, a couple of little twists that uh, will make them, turn them into bassinet eggs. So I'm going to give you a few tips along the way though, because not everyone knows all these tips yet. But the number one way of knowing whether your eggs are still fresh or not is to put them in a pan and put water in them. And I'll show you if any of these are getting old or if they're too fresh to uh, make deviled eggs with. We're just gonna do six today. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six. You put your, pan, your eggs in the pan and put water enough to cover the eggs completely and I'll bring this over there and show you in a minute. Okay, okay can you see down in there darling? Yes. Uh, we've got this egg is is very much standing up straight. This is the oldest egg. Or this is the oldest egg. It's standing up straight and almost floating. This one is the next oldest. All of them are pretty much the same age because they're all standing up. What makes them stand up is on the big end of an egg you have an air pocket and the older the egg is the more the inside has evaporated and so that makes a bigger and bigger air pocket all the time and they'll eventually get to where they'll even float. But uh, at this point, they are still good enough to boil, and in fact, these will be real easy to peel because if they were laying down on their sides like that, they are so fresh that they're harder to shell. So we'll put these on and uh, be back in about seven minutes. I, let my, I bring mine to a boil, turn the water off, and let it uh, just sit in the hot water for about three minutes. So we'll see how long it takes to come to a boil. Okay, we're back. The eggs finished boiling. I have peeled them and cut them in half for the next leg of our journey. So here's our eggs and you just pop the yolks out into another bowl because that's going to be your egg filling mix. Okay, this happens sometimes so if you are ever needing to fulfill a particular number always make some extra eggs. This isn't going to go to waste though because this is going to make, we'll use this one for one of the uh, baby bonnet tops, baby bassinet tops. Okay, here's the yolks and we're going to just put some mustard and mayonnaise and a little uh, salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and do that right now. A little salt and pepper, a little paprika and a little cayenne. Mm. <laughs> now, you can do your, your uh, mixture any way you want to. When I make deviled eggs for my family, I put everything but the kitchen sink in. I put uh, chopped celery, chopped onions, green onions, sweet relish but uh, for if you're doing it just for a party 
and you don't know everyone's taste, I would keep it simple. We're going to put just a dab of mustard in there, just a dab of mayo. I got a bargain the other day. Organic mayonnaise. It is still good until October of this year, but I got it for a dollar. So I was happy about that. That's all I'm going to put in our little mixture. It's just the seasonings and mustard and mayo. If it's a little dry, you could put a little sweet pickle, pickle juice in it. But I don't think it's going to be dry. Mix it up good. Give me some jalapeno pear jelly. <laughs> we, the best eggs I ever did, we took to a covered dish dinner and I put jalap some of my own jalapeno pear jelly in it. And the man across the table from me was uh, very impressed when I said I put jalapeno pepper jelly in it. And he said, oh, I'd have never thought of that. Well, I always think outside the box, so that's what I did. Okay, when you get this smooth, you can just pick it up, pick up your egg, and put it in like this. see the way that slid across that plate? Uh, another little tip is either put lettuce leaves down or you can very, very thinly slice a little bit out of the bottom of your egg. Another thing you can do is put this mix in a sandwich bag. And then use the sandwich bag like a piping cone, piping tube. That makes it nice and easy. Okay, there's some left, but that makes wonderful sandwiches. We'll set it aside. Now what makes these baby bassinets is you cut and you just put a little hood over it. And you can see that it's kind of looking like a baby bassinet. So you see the bassinet, it's looking like a bassinet but we want to have a baby in there too. So this is where you can get creative. I've got some pepperoni slices here that I've cut in half and I'm going to trim those out to make a circle. Or you could use an olive if you want a green baby. <laughs> you could use a chunk of cheese. You just put a cheese piece of cheese in there. You could use a weenie. Just anything. Anything that you can imagine to make a little further decoration. So these pepperoni half slices, I'm going to cut the corners off there and there and just kind of round it out until you get a little round, kind of a round shape. It's not perfect. 
put that right there, and it looks like the head of a baby. Kind of. Okay, so there you have some sweet little babies in a bassinet made out of deviled eggs. Now all of these scraps over here are not going to go to waste. We're just going to put them in the rest of that. Uh, we're just going to put them in the rest of that egg mix, and we'll have it in a sandwich. Mm. <laughs> he can't wait. So there you go, baby bassinet deviled eggs. Thank you.